Denny Hamlin has been stuck like glue to the back bumper of Ryan Newman. Well, he's starting to look like he either needs some air or he's getting a little antsy. Darrell's a lap and a half to go. How antsy would you be? I'd be jerk. I'd be. I'd be all over the place, just like he is. I'd be juking. Tell you what, though. Flag right here. Coming to white the flag. white flag. No pressure out the back. Remember, it will happen if they're going to make the move on the back straightaway. Hamlin locked on to Newman. Kurt Busch with Jamie Mack. Through turn one for the final time. Here we go. your tire tracks. When you go, he's pushing. Now it's go time. There we go. They're looking. They're looking. Can't make it. Can't make it happen. Newman, the runner up in 2005. Can't make it happen. Has about 2,000 feet to the finish line to win the Bud Shootout for the first time. Hamblin low, Bush up high. Here they come. Three wide to the stripe, and the winner is three wide, three probably wide, Kurt Bush because Denny Hamlin went below the yellow line. Yeah, that, that was definitely, he, he advanced his position by being out of bounds. There's no question on that one. Oh, this is unbelievable. I mean, to experience victory lane here, no matter what the race is, it's very special. And I just got to thank my motor department, Jamie McMurray. I mean, those guys, <laughs> they stuck with us. He had an unbelievable amount of power to push us and kept us in the mix. And when you have a friend like that in this two-car draft, that's what it takes. Rookie Trevor Bain in his second Sprint Cup start will the lead them to the white flag, flag with Bobby Labonte. Here comes Kurt Busch and Juan Montoya. Carl Edwards in fifth. And we know Kurt Busch and Montoya is going to make a move. DW, when will they make it? I don't think they're going to make it till turn four. I mean, we keep hearing about I'm a setting duck when I'm leading this thing. So I guess that makes the 21 a setting duck right now. But... We'll see here that 22 knows how to win from that position. That's where he won the Bud shootout from. Edwards and Gilliland down to the inside trying to... Where did that 34 come from? Trying to Gilliland. spoil the party. Oh, and my gosh. spoiled the party for Kurt Busch and Montoya, and here they come through turn four. Are Gilliland, they? former pole sitter of the 500. Edwards has room underneath. Now he pushes now it's Trevor Bain. It's Thank over. Cinderella Bain is going to win the Daytona 500. It. It. Unbelievable. Happy birthday. Trevor Bain, 20 years old. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? That was awesome. That was awesome, Trevor. You are the man, buddy. You are the man. Everybody coming inside, congratulating <laughs> you here. Awesome job, man. 66 races since Jeff Gordon last visited Victory Lane. Oh, Kyle pulls him down the backstretch. Yeah, but watch but that right 24. here is where Gordon is strongest. And he gets right to the back bumper trying to rattle Kyle Busch. Well, it makes you, it'll get you a little bit loose and allow you to do that right there. Get Here a little run and he's gone. Eight laps to go. Whoa, whoa, Jeff got loose getting in that corner. But Kyle was on the outside of him where he was unable to take advantage. Yeah, it hurt Kyle Busch more than it did Jeff Gordon. Oh, for 66. And last year, four coulda, woulda, shouldas for Jeff Gordon. It'll be white flag next time by. And that is music to you. It's white wow. flag next time by. And you're pulling away. Jeff Gordon trying for Hendrick Motorsports. Ninth win at Phoenix. They have already won six of the last eight. All right, here it is. White, white flag. flag. Crew Chief Alan Gustafson has been to Victory Lane here with Mark Martin and with Kyle Busch. Last week, 20-year-old Trevor Bain won the Daytona 500 after battling Thursday and drafting with his boyhood hero, Jeff Gordon. Today, Jeff Gordon rolls off turn four, 0 for 66, 1 for 67. Jeff Gordon Welcome wins back, at Phoenix. Baby. Welcome back. Awesome job. That's the way to fight, man. We earned that one, right? Those have been the two best cars right there most of this race. They're the, just now showing it. The bell lap, and the man who started up front leads it, Jeff Gordon. But here comes the next two pair. That These two cats right here, they may have timed it out too. Let's see what happens down the back. Now they will get a draft off Mark Martin. And here's the slingshot to the outside. 
Stay together. That's what they're saying. Stay together. Push, push, push. It's going to get tight down here in turn three. Don't forget Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr., fifth and sixth. They are there. Which group will they go with, and will here it help the come. children's cars, or will it help Jeff Gordon to victory lane? All bets are off. They get to the middle of the trioval. Watch out down low. Way Good down run. comes Johnson. Good run, boy. He's got room. They're three wide. Three by three Five. to the line. Johnson. Maybe Jimmy Johnson. I believe he got him by an inch. Two one thousandths of a second he beat Boyer. Okay, a sixteenth of an inch. Have you ever? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. No, we have never. I have never <laughs> seen anything like that. <laughs> Woo what a finish. Hey, man. That's how you do teammates, man. Go up and congratulate them. Both y'all won that race. Both y'all. For the restart, it's our second attempt at a green-white checker finish in the Coke Zero 400 here at Daytona. And I, and I think, Kyle, this is another one of the things you don't want to you don't want a great start no. on this deal right now. Right, you don't want to get ready? too far ahead right. on, that, on that. Green, 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 green. When Harvick got up in front of Menard, about as nice as you can do it right there. And, and left Joy all by himself on the inside right there. Yep. Joy Logano to the outside there with the four car of, of Casey Kane. Larry called it. Logano to the outside and to the lead. Big shove by Casey Kane on the outside. That was a huge shove. He and got look in the just middle. enough off yep. those guys. They Newman just, they had and to shuffled out. He got a little bit out of shape there. Newman had to get out of the gas, and that was it. Here we come down to the white flag. One lap to go for David Reagan. All clear, all clear. One faster, double wide. And look who's right behind Kenseth. Dale Wait, Earnhardt three. Jr. has joined the party. Watch Harvick swing high here, though. Kevin Harvick's been known to break hearts at Daytona. He did it to Mark Martin in 2007 in the Daytona 500. He won this race one year ago. David Reagan, David. a half a lap away from his it, first victory. It's now time, isn't it, for the 20? It's time for the Better 20 go. to do something or... One back there, better by 10. I think uh -oh, it's the record behind him. David Reagan. Reagan. behind the race leader. David Reagan. No caution yet. David Reagan coming Still back wrecking. to the start-finish line. They're wrecking everywhere now. They're wrecking again. Reagan with sweet redemption gets the victory at Daytona. Earlier in the race, they said they were going to gamble and try to win this thing. That's exactly what they're doing. But the problem is for Menard and company right now is that a four-time winner of this race and a guy who really knows how to get it done has a full load of fuel, four fresh tires, and he is coming. Yeah, he's the fifth car in line right now. Now, he's got to pass four cars, but he's been running incredibly fast. You see him go around his teammate. Mark Martin gives him room getting into the corner, and he's second. The only thing between Jeff Gordon and standing behind us in victory lane is that 27 car of Paul Menard. And as I said, these last couple of laps, once Paul Menard looked in the mirror and saw that, he stepped it up to a totally different level than I've ever seen Paul step it up. For years, Paul Menard has been digging, just looking for that one break. He's always been in contention, always done a good job, and now he is a winner in the Sprint Cup Series. He becomes the first, first-time winner at the Brickyard 400. It's been a long time coming, but for this 30-year-old from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, he is now among the elite in NASCAR. Green-white checker, the green flag. They race. If they get back around to the white without a caution, the next flag ends the race. Who's it going to be? Oh, uh, Ambrose spun the tire stump. Brad Keselowski going by him. Kyle Busch lights him up. He's oh, out oh, he's the place. Here comes Brad. Contact. Keselowski is through to the lead. Wow. Here comes Montoya, but he's not able to hold off Kyle Busch. Okay, this, this interloop's going to be exciting up here. Because that's going to have to really guard. A wiggle, a wobble. Uh, here comes Ambrose hard He's in there. the throttle. A little bump there, a little nudge. You have to know Kyle Busch is going to be close here, too. I'll tell you what. Ambrose better get down in this corner good or Brad's going to be all over him. Maybe a little bump right here from Brad. Kyle Busch coming hard. Oh, oh he's still sideways.
white flag. One lap to go. Next flag ends the race. Do they have enough fuel to come back around and finish it? Kyle Busch looking to get back around Keselowski. Oh, oh, big crash oh. in turn number two, David Ruderman. We're still green. Oh, looks like Tony Stewart out through the grass in the inner loop. And back through traffic. Caution is out. Race is over. Marcos Ambrose is your winner. And he's going to pick up his first NASCAR Sprint Cup Series win. It is 105th start. Man, I've sacrificed so much to get here to finally win in Vic V here in Victory Lane in the Cup Series. This dream come true. Five laps to go. Whoa, Gordon really sideways right there. And Jimmy oh. fighting right up to his back bumper. You can see Jimmy just walk the car all the way up the track. Yeah, did we talk earlier about another fantastic finish here at Atlanta? Yes, sir. Got a run. Oh, yeah, he got him loose right there. Four to go. Gordon drives it in to stay side by side. Jimmy's getting a little loose. Both of them wiggling up off the corner. Wow. <laughs> That's good oh, stuff. They're, they're coming to three to go. I'm telling you, this is a, this is a dog fight. Yeah, Johnson's going to try to get a run on the high side. This oh, might get his he pass that he's looking for here. That's not, not what Gordon needs. No, nope, not make this it work. time. Three laps to go. Regan Smith gives way the lap car. Johnson dives again for the low side. Oh, oh both no. of them just using all the track. What's the wiggle going to be that costs Gordon the win or Johnson the chance to make a run at him? Lost some time there. Yeah, Jimmy said, i got to try something. Yeah, that's where he made up a lot of his time. Looks like they may not catch this traffic before the end of the race. But it's probably still affecting their cars. They're close enough. It, Johnson gets a big run off of two now. Coming to the white flag. So far, Gordon's been able to hold him off. Can he do it for another lap and a quarter? Johnson's gotten a big run off turn four several times on Gordon, but not been able to finish the pass. He slides this time. Gordon uh. gets the big run. Last lap. Gordon gaining some ground. Can he hang on? Whoa, oh, Jimmy Johnson sideways as he went to the gas hard. Look at him. Sliding off the corner. Half a lap to go. There is lap traffic ahead. We've had fantastic finishes in Atlanta. Will this be another side-by-side -side run to the checkers? It's going to be a sideways run to the checkers. Johnson tries to get there. Can't get it done. Career win number 85. Jeff Gordon third on NASCAR's all-time win list. Wow. Wow, what a lead that Jeff Burton and Clint Boyer have made right here. It'll be tough to run them down. Jeff Gordon just a roadblock right there. What happened to Stewart and Menard on that restart? Michael Waltrip looking for a partner. White flag down to the final lap. Can anybody run up and catch Burton and Boyer? They've got some ground to make up if they're going to do it. Oh. Shuffling around in this pack. Eight of the last 12 races here have been decided on the last lap. Dave Blaney first to break from the traffic with Brad Keselowski. Here come Brian Vickers and Casey Kane. Whole knot of cars behind him. But Jeff Burton is a half a lap from victory. This far clear of the pack. Does Boyer pull out and try and win? Uh, there's a chance that Boyer might try to pull out and win when they get to the trial. Here he here. goes. Here he goes. Does the pack have a chance to run him down? Side by side and contact. The pack is not going to catch him. They Burton still got a shot. 
Clint Boyer gets the win. Yeah, I told him, uh, you know, this is Chevrolet's uh, 100th anniversary. What an awesome paint scheme. So proud of the paint scheme. Then it was his uh, 100th race uh, that he's, he's won in the Cup Series. So uh, I told him, congratulations. I guess I'm going to rage his ass for the 101st. <laughs> Three to go. Oh, Junior. Nudged around. Oh, he and Logano tag along. goes around. And Stewart trying to get around Jimmy Johnson. He's got him cleared off four. To the lead, Tony Stewart, two laps to go. Do they get to the white flag without another yellow? Can Johnson get the Stewart's back bumper? Here they come. Joey Logano into the wall, into Car three. Car the wall, Hard. turn three. White flag's out though. Logano still driving around. We are on the last lap. Stewart, Johnson, Gordon. Will there be a bump and run? He's gonna try it. Johnson gets there, but not enough. Tony Stewart wins at Martinsville. I know you want to celebrate, but I want to tell you, you're eight points back of Carl Levers with three to go, man, that we have a championship battle in the making. He better be worried. That's all I got to say. He isn't going to have an easy three weeks. Final lap. Stewart and Edwards, first and second. Winner takes the championship. Yeah, this is just the most incredible run I've ever seen out of a race car driver, what Tony Stewart has done in this chase and tonight. Yeah, I think it's the best driving I've ever seen, and, and Carl Edwards did an incredible job, too. But this is the man right here, Tony Stewart. 2002, he was the champion. 2005, he was the champion. Those driving for someone else. This time, he's an owner driver, and he's going to become a three-time NASCAR Sprint Cup champion. Tony Stewart wins it. Oh, God, thank the Lord for this one, buddy. I'm a uh, man, I'm telling you, it's been a tough, tough summer and a tough fall for us, and you got to believe in something. And the man upstairs, and he held this rain off just long enough for us to get this job done. So uh, this is for Sprint and all these fans up here that stuck it out all weekend here in Homestead. And Oh, my God. I don't care how long it rains. I'm going to be up all night. This is, uh, oh, my God, I, are you kidding me?